Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. As you guys can see, I have installed these LCDs, mobiles and shirts. Okay. So you can see that we previously installed this category, LCD, LED and mobile shirt. So now if we will view a category, you can see here is view button which is coming. When I will come to this page, this will show all the products that have the shirts category listed there. Like when we install the product, we showed you that let's let me add a product first uh, this will be a sample product okay uh, so I will name it as sample and I will choose a category as you can see here are uh, the categories we added I'll choose uh, laptops and I'll just publish it okay and then this product has been published okay so now when I will open the laptop category okay view and this is the laptop category by laptop from us this is the description of the category okay you can see this is by laptop from us this is the description and this is the product we have now I can click read more I can buy this product and then I can do these stuffs so it is a great way to categorize your products now I will introduce you a different and a simple thing okay this will be the subcategories like uh, if someone wants to buy mobile okay and but he wants something like iOS or Android we will categorize our mobiles with iOS and uh, and Android so this will be the subcategory of mobiles okay so what I'll do I'll just use I O S or maybe we can use Apple or Android or for Android we can use Nexus we can use LG or we can use Lenovo or whatever but we will categorize our mobile subcategory with iOS okay and this will be or maybe Apple would be much better as it is a brand okay so just let me use AWP LE and the slug will be a -E. so you can even use hyphen in your slug okay this will be Apple so let me use cap cap capital Apple then we have a parent okay what I will choose I'll just come to none here I will choose mobiles so it is the parent of mobile mobile is the parent of this category now here I will enter this description just don't write it's not much important now we have our thumbnail okay so for thumbnail we have to do the same step just let me go to the Google and let me search for app le apple ios and it will give me then what I have to do I need this and I will save this image here in the e-commerce site folder we created now what I will do I'll just come here I'll click upload add image I'll come to this I'll select the files and this one is the file I'll just use this image so this image has been done now what I will do I'll add new product category and we have now this mobiles and inside this this is the dash this is pointing to that this is the mobile is the main category and then we have a subcategory which is Apple and now what you will see here like when I will open like uh, when I will view this mobile what it will show us it is uh, telling us that no products found basically we can change our mobile function to like let me click add it okay let me click add it and I will be changed to an added page and display type if I use subcategories and then when I will update it and when I will refresh it will show me the subcategories of mobiles okay so there will be a mobile a sub mobile because I haven't created any product yet so let me first add a product And product will be this one then I have Apple okay and then I will publish it okay so Apple is releasing the DFFF okay and now I will 
refresh and I have now this apple which is the category and this is showing the category instead of product okay so when I will open this category I will be redirected to subcategory you can see that the mobile slash apple and it is telling us that this is the subcategory of the product and now I can move on to like when I will click add it I'll just use default and I'll use update and when I will go back to mobile let me refresh and it is then giving me the product okay showing single results so you can even display both items in the category of the main category like when I will click add it I'll come to the display type it is default I can even show the so the default only only shows the product associated with the subcategories or the main categories okay and the products will also show the default is product basically now we have our subcategories subcategories will only show the uh, subcategories associated with the main category and the both will show both options so let's look at this as well now let me refresh and here you go this is the category which is showing up and this is the product this is showing us so this is somehow a great mess uh, I don't think so if this is much better to show you can even go with show the subcategories or you can even go with only show the products so I would recommend you to sh you go with default settings and I will choose default I'll just use default and I'll just update it so the default category will only show the products associated with the subcategories or the main category so this is a great way to show off your product uh, now I will close my video and I will add some of the subcategories and then we will move on to the products we will add some products and we will configure them so stay tuned and goodbye